thickness of any surface here it is drawn like this a straight line from here of this surface and here a small symbol of straightness is shown and 0.005 is written it means that the value of the roughness of this sorry the straightness the straightness of this surface is of the order of 5 micron or 0.05 millimeter that is the meaning of straightness symbol then next is flatness this is an example showing flatness of the object this is an object shown over here this is the possible surface and variation in this two surface is it is exaggerated it is enlarged view the tolerance is 0.2 as shown over here means this waviness should be within 0.2 micron this is the symbol of flatness if it is drawn like this and value of flatness is shown over here 0.2 and this is the tolerance over here so totally at all places the flatness should be maintained within this range that is the meaning of this symbol third symbol roundness or circularity it is shown over here this is a circle it may be shaft or rod and it is shown like this arrow circle and written 0.05 means what it means that the circularity of this circle should be within 0.05 millimeter or 50 micron it means that if we enlarge this surface of this circular hole this surface it would appear like this some kind of waviness would be there the possible form would be like this so to measure the roundness or circularity we have to draw two circles one towards the outside of this waviness another towards the inside of this waviness and the difference between these two diameter should be within this range that indicates the roundness of this surface or roundness of this circle this is the second second drawing in which phi means it is a diameter and circularity is 0.05 mm shown over here another object in which circularity is shown over here here the subject object is taper by nature so this taperness circularity should be within this range that is 0.05 mm here the surface is at any cross section square to the axis to be shown over here like this it means that either the surface is parallel or its taper its circularity towards its center should be within this range that is 0.05 mm now straightness symbol this is the symbol of straightness this for this object this is an object it is drawn like this side view and front view straightness straightness is is 0.1 mm it is shown over here for this edge second symbol for the straightness this is a cylinder or cylindrical object having diameter and a straightness of the order of 0.2 mm it is shown over here like this this is an isometric view this is orthographic view this is another example of straightness this is the axis and tolerance is mentioned over here that is 0.5 so this axis can deviate within 0.5 tolerance another example of straightness here the square hole is there that is rectangular by nature rectangular hole is there tolerances are given 0.5 and 0.2 over here respectively foam tolerance what is foam this is an example of foam profile here if on the profile it is written like this this is a front view this is top view the symbol is drawn like this mention value is 0.2 what is the meaning of this it means that this surface if we draw isometric view of this object it will appear like this and if we think about waviness or true profile profile of its surface it is like this so there may be two possible forms upper form and lower form and in between these two forms 
the maximum allowable distance is 0.2 micro as shown over here hence this shows the form profile of given object this is another example of the form profile two surfaces are there third example more number of surfaces are there external tolerance 0.2 this is a possible form this is the true profile so this is about form now squareness what is squareness it is like this it is drawn by this symbol reverse t mentioned 0.15 a a is written over here and the surface a is defined over here like this this is the method to show the uh, any datum surface it is here a is mentioned that means this surface is a and with respect to this surface this surface should have perpendicularity within the range of 0.15 unit so here it is shown that the tolerance is 0.15 micron hence the deviation is allowed up to 0.15 only another example of squareness here this perpendicularity is 0.1 the defined surface a is here this is the defined surface a and this is the meaning of this symbol another symbol which shows value of a and here this a the defined portion is his this datum is defined as a and with respect to this datum the value of perpendicularity of this portion is shown over here that is 0.1 mm and this is the isometric view to represent this, this symbol over here now what is symmetricity symmetricity means this is an object you can see here two views of an object this portion is symmetrical about this axis and here value of symmetricity is given 0.05 mm with respect to datum a this is datum a and that symmetricity should be maintained within a value of 0.05 and two parallel parallel planes equispaced about datum is to be shown over here another example to indicate the symmetricity this object is symmetrical about this axis that is shown over here and that symmetricity should be maintained within 0.1 micron parameter now screw thread terminology the third point of today's discussion we know about screw thread this is the nomenclature for screw thread which indicates nominal diameter this diameter is called nominal diameter major diameter pitch diameter and minor diameter shown over here this is an external thread like this this angle is called thread angle as shown over here this distance between two peak point of threads is called as pitch this is axis of the thread root this valley and peak point is called as crest so distance between crest and root is this this is the distance and this distance between two peaks is called as pitch of the thread and this is depth of thread so we can see here the distance between root and crest this plus minor diameter plus the distance that will give us the major diameter and this this is the indication of internal thread this is external thread this is internal thread for internal thread also same names same analogies to be employed representation of thread in the drawing how to represent the thread of an object in the drawing see here in this first case here this is the thread threads are drawn here threading operation is done so this is the method to show the threads over here in some cases this circle dotted circle is not drawn fully one to three fourth circle is drawn that is the indication of thread here external thread are shown here internal thread are drawn in case of internal thread this dotted line is drawn outside this full circle in case of external thread this dotted line is drawn inside this outer circle so that is different between internal thread and external thread this is tapped hole what do you mean by tapped hole tapping operation is done 
in a circular hole threading are prepared before that tapping is done so this is trap drill which penetrates inside up to length f this hole is drilled this hole is tapped for diameter d c is the length of cut e is this remaining depth a and b so this is cap screw and tapped hole inserted and this is the drawing conventions to show tapped hole external threads how to indicate external thread suppose threading operation is done to the outside of any cylindrical portion for some length say shown here this is the length of thread so we need to, to draw threads by drawing vertical lines we can show threads by just drawing this line just horizontal lines here 0.35 means this depth is 0.35 mm this angle is 30 degree shown over here so thread starts from here it ends over here it is shown by this and as it is an external thread here a circle is drawn to the inside of this full circle here this outside circle is full circle and inside a circle is drawn and it is cut in this portion you may cut over here but it is general practice to cut over here so this shows the external thread similarly this diagram indicates tapping hole if the hole is tapped over here then it is to be shown like this this is length full length, full thread length this is thread run out and these are the appropriate dimension the angle covered for this tapping operation and this inner portion is 120 degree now the fourth topic of today's discussion that is heat treatment condition surface conditions assembly nodes etc temper designation what do you mean by temper designation here some temper designations are collected from some websites symbol and designation for aluminium if in symbol dash f is written it means that the object is as fabricated fabrication is done this o is written it means that it is annealed annealing operation is done recrystallized and rod product for rod product only h means it's a strain hardened there are variety of h it may be h1 it means that strain hardened only if h2 is written strain hardened and partially annealed h3 is written it means that strain hardened and stabilized if w is written it means that solution heated only when period of aging is indicated t is written it means that treated to produce stable tempers other than f o or h t2 means annealed cast products only t3 solution heat treated and then cold work if the symbol is t4 the solution is heat treated t6 means artificially aged only t8 means solution heat treated and then artificially aged t9 means solution heat treated and artificially aged and then after cold working is done T10 means artificially aged and then cold work. So these are the symbols which are used in temper designation and this is widely used for aluminiums only. This reference I have taken from metalwebnews.org. This is these are the symbols. Now today, now I will show you some important websites these are the some important websites through which data could be gathered that is metalwebnews.org engineering.uiowa.edu.in ignu.se.in nptl.iitm.se.in roymac.co.uk unimac.com 
chai yes space dot com and my email address these are the resources for such kind of collections such kind of studies so i am very much thankful to all of you for listening me and in this chapter let me conclude what's important in this chapter the important thing is to remember the symbols you need not to remember the values of the symbol because values may be given or it's not important but you should be able to demonstrate the meaning of that symbol for example if just dash line is drawn you should be able to know you should know that the dash line means it indicates straightness so i would i would be happy to interact with you for further discussion on this topic i am very much thankful to all of you thank you